Now a follow up to a story you saw here on CBS 4 News. We've learned that an attorney looking to build a gentleman's club on South Padre Island got denied by county commissioners. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley joins us in the studio with more on why the application got the X and what the attorney has to say. Well, Nicole, back in 2009, attorney Larry Polsky purchased about an acre and a half of beachfront property. The idea was and still is to build a sexually oriented establishment. On Tuesday, the Cameron County Commissioner's Court shut down his application to start his business. Polsky says his fight is far from over. Attorney Larry Polsky knew that his application to open a sexually oriented business was dead on arrival. There was no way that these elected officials were going to allow anyone to open a topless bar on their beach. Polsky's purchased land is about 2,500 feet north of Beach Access 6. Even though it's in the middle of nowhere, even though it affects no one, there's no houses, there's no condos, there's nothing within uh, three miles either way on the beach. He sent in his application on June 13, 2017. He says he thought there wasn't a legitimate reason for the county to not accept his application, but he was denied. But in essence, there was some there was some problems with regards to the notice that the applicant provided to the neighboring property owners that he failed to do that. According to county documents, it states that sexually oriented businesses pose a large public safety hazard. In addition, Judge Trevino cited the Texas Open Beaches Act, stating it will not allow anything to hinder public accesses to the beach. September the 8th, uh, 2017, they made a finding, and the finding was that the public beach in front of Mr. Polsky's property is a public park. There has never been a case or a statute in Texas that stated that the public beach is a public park. The reason that causes a problem for Polsky is he can't open his establishment within 1,500 feet of a public park. Because of this, he decided to file a takings lawsuit against Cameron County. What they've done is by declaring uh, Polsky Beach to be a public park, they've taken away the ownership of uh, that public beach from the people that actually own it and pay taxes on it. Polsky is claiming that the county made the public beach in front of his property a public park after he applied. So the county can only lose in this. The county, in its uh, enthusiasm to squash my application, opened up a can of worms for people to be compensated for property now taken away from them and declared a public park. Tomorrow, Polsky is filing a notice of appeal for the denial of his application. He says if he loses the appeal, then he wins on his takings claim. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.